coming to paperback and e-readers, Isis Stark Incubus. The goddess next door gets enthralled in a romantic entanglement with an evil incubus in this all-new Isis series adventure. Pre-order your copy of Isis Stark Incubus at Amazon.com and other online booksellers everywhere. Better get the cool slow, y'all, because we're having us a barbecue. <laughs> Best-selling black author Terry McMillan has signed a deal with the Lifetime Network to create a series of movies for Lifetime. Now, this deal is one where Terry McMillan will be an executive producer over a banner of series of films called Terry McMillan Presents, and these films will be made in the style of Terry McMillan's iconic novels such as Waiting to Exhale. Now, according to Terry McMillan, she says, as women, we can be messy, we can be complicated, we can be so many things, and life is never tied up in a bow, so it's thrilling to come back to a business that allows women to tell their stories in their authentic, own authentic way. Now, I have to call BS on that talking point because there's nothing really authentic about stories presented by those like Terry McMillan and the Lifetime Network because when it comes to platforms like Lifetime, they oftentimes present the stories of women, especially black women, in an extremely slanted way. And with Terry McMillan and Lifetime partnering together to create this Terry McMillan Presents series of films, we are not going to get a balanced picture of black life. No, what we're going to get is a picture of black life that is completely slanted and biased to present black women as the victim of abuse by brutish black men and them looking to go on a quest possibly for the good black man. Because this was the narrative that Terry McMillan presented in many of her novels like Waiting to Exhale, How Stella Got Her Groove Back, Mama, and Disappearing Acts, and what really disappeared from those books was a perspective that showed you the picture as related to black men. No, instead of us getting a balanced picture of life that showed us the story of black men, what we got was a narrative telling us that black women were being victimized by these brutish bad black men, but never really showed you a picture of female accountability for choosing to get involved with these individuals. That's something that has been missing from Terry McMillan's literature, and as she has been out here promoting her work, she has gone out here and promoted it, demonizing black men by saying that there are no good black men. However, there are plenty of good brothers out there, but they weren't able to get access to media platforms like Lifetime or any other platform to present you a balanced picture of the story. And that was done by design because the white media basically wanted to give a platform to these kinds of feminist indoctrinated black women to demonize black men. And for over 30 years, women like Terry McMillan and Oprah Winfrey presented black men as monsters and demonized them on their platforms. And that's what we will possibly get from a series of Terry McMillan Presents movies, just like we got it from the Oprah Winfrey Presents series of movies, which went out of its way to choose black feminist literature that presented a misinterested narrative towards heterosexual black men. And that's where I have an issue with this whole deal to give Terry McMillan movies, because a Terry McMillan movie seems to be no different than a Tyler Perry movie or a Lee Daniels movie, or an Oprah Winfrey movie, and all of these movies all have the same narratives and the same themes in showing a black woman being victimized by a quote-unquote no-good black man, and showing that this black woman is miserable and downtrodden, even though she's single, successful, and well-educated, she cannot find love with a good black man, but they don't really tell the story from the black man's perspective, 
And that's where these movies basically turn into misandristic propaganda. And that's what you'll get from a Lifetime movie, because the Lifetime network is notorious for going out and presenting men as monsters. And this whole deal with Terry McMillan is guaranteed to possibly make black men into monsters in this so-called entertainment, which is basically just propaganda that is designed to take a new generation and try to have their minds controlled to believe that black men are monsters. However, this deal may wind up blowing up in Lifetime's face because there has been pushback against these narratives as related to these kinds of stories that Terry McMillan, Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey want to make and present on film because with the failure at the box office for The Color Purple, it's clear that black people's perspective of black is and black and male and female relationships is starting to change. Now, The Color Purple was a box office success in 1985 because the black audience really was desperate for its image. And as the word got out about this National Book Award winning adaptation of Alice Walker's novel, that film became a hit and started the rift for the gender wars that we currently are in today between black men and black women. However, over the last 20 years, we've seen the rise of new black media. And as new black media like my SJS Direct imprint have started to rise, we've started to see people starting to push, get pushed back on these narratives as black men have been stepping into these media circles and presenting their side of the story. Moreover, as writers and publishers like myself have been stepping into the circle of new black media, I have been out here presenting more balanced stories of black life as related to black male and black female relationships. And with that counter narrative, what we're starting to see with a new generation of black people is black people are starting to become aware of black men's side of the story and it's black men presenting their side of the story as related to these relationships that have basically changed people's perception of self and that's basically what has led to the box office failure of the color purple this remake because black audiences now know that the narratives of this film were made by a black feminist was married to a white man and more are starting to learn more about the background of women like Terry McMillan, who made their money by demonizing black men as the villains of their story. And with, the, with there being a, a platform for black men to start getting their stories out, like I have on my SJS Direct imprint on different publishing platforms, we're starting to get a different side of the story that shows you a more balanced picture of black male and black female relationships. And nobody is buying into these victim narratives like they did when Terry McMillan and Oprah Winfrey, Lee Daniels and Tyler Perry had complete control over the media platforms. And that's what we really need as related to media. We need more black voices out here like my own to start talking against these narratives that are presented by people like Terry McMillan, who on her Terry McMillan Presents, we are guaranteed to get a lot of stories that show us abused, downtrodden black women who were beaten down by big, ball-headed black brutes, and there will be a light-skinned or a non-black savior who will come to the rescue of these women. That's basically what we're going to get on a Terry McMillan, McMillan Presents, which was no different than Oprah Winfrey Presents movies or no different than Lee Daniels movies or Tyler Perry movies. And clearly audiences are fed up with these kinds of narratives that promote narratives that show black people can't love other black people. Because what audiences really want from what I've seen are stories of black on black love. They want to see balanced stories of black men and black women loving each other. And they want to see black people loving and caring for each other in a story. Unfortunately, Hollywood doesn't want those narratives. That's why they'll go out here and make a deal with a Terry McMillan instead of a Sean James. Because 
making a deal with Terry McMillan allows the media arm of white supremacy to continue promoting its anti-black narratives, continues to allow them to perpetuate a gender war, and continues to have black women believing that relationships with black men are abusive. That's possibly what you would get from a Terry McMillan Presents movie, whereas if you were to get a Sean James Presents movie, you would get stories like The Temptation of John Haynes, which shows you a black man loving a black woman, or stories like Esteem the Sands of Time, which shows you a fantasy black romance of a black teenager just loving each other, or a story like A Recipe for Success, which shows you two black-owned businesses and two black people coming together in love, or a story like Spinsterella, which shows you a black goth finding love with a black man, and those kind of stories, that's not what Terry McMillan presents on her platform and Lifetime would ever present, because those type of stories would empower and inspire black people, and that's not what Lifetime is all about. No, Lifetime is all about promoting victimization on its platform, and it's known for its promotion of victimization to the point where that platform is basically considered to be laughable by most people. Most people, when they hear Lifetime, they see it as just campy, schlocky, goofy movies and combine this with Terry McMillan and we're guaranteed to get a disaster on the level of one of Tyler Perry's Medea films. That's what we're guaranteed to get with a Terry McMillan Presents movie and I really am glad that there is new black media out here like my SJS Direct imprint because with new black media, we can finally start to see the other side of black romance and start to see stories of black on black love and start to see stories that counter these narratives as related to the no good black man by showing you not only the other side as related to black female behavior that basically leads to these relationships failing because they never talk about black female accountability in any of these stories nor do they show you a balanced side that shows you how the choices these black women make lead to them winding up with these no good black men or winding up single for the rest of their lives no we just hear about how bad the man is Whereas when, when I write a story, I try to show you all the sides of the story so that you can make your own observations. This is one of the reasons why I use the revolving first-person perspective, because I want you to start thinking about the choices these characters make and the actions that they take, and understand that it's the choices these characters make that lead to them winding up with their outcomes. That's something that is omitted from many of Terry McMillan's stories, which tell us all about the bad black men, but never hold the women accountable for their side of the story because a relationship is two people and it's the choices of those two people that lead to those people winding up with the outcomes that they have. But that's not something you see featured in a Terry McMillan story. And that's what makes her content just so biased and so based because you're not going to get that whole side of black men's stories and that's what makes this whole deal with Terry McMillan being able to make these Lifetime movies just a, a, a joke as related to content because instead of us getting balanced stories of black people, all we're going to get is more of the same old crap that, we've, that people have saw back in the days of Oprah Winfrey when the Oprah Winfrey show was on and it clearly shows how tone deaf and disconnected many of these Hollywood types are as related to black people because it's clear that the audience wanted something different ever since the success of 2018's Black Panther because 2018's Black Panther basically showed us that the audience is ready for something new, ready for something different, ready for something unique, something that shows us black people in a larger picture of life, shows us a larger picture of black stories, and shows us more diversity of thought. And sadly, because these executives are not really interested in showing true diversity of thought, what they have done is regressed by going back to Terry McMillan. And by going back to Terry McMillan, they've shown how they, in their desperation to get their groove back, they've basically taken the train off the track because any, any story that is made by a Terry McMillan Presents 
isn't guaranteed to be just as whack as anything that's currently being produced by Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey right now. Now, if you want to see a positive picture of Black Love, you can pick up the romance books of the SJS Direct imprint, such as The Temptation of John Haynes, A Recipe for Success, Esteem the Sands of Time, and Spinsterella. You can find all four of those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them at other online booksellers like Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and Target in paperback. And you can also find them at other digital booksellers like draft to digital Google Play, and the iBookstore. And if you want to pick up some of my other positive black fiction on the SJS Direct imprint, you can find the books of the Isis series, the Steam series, the John Haynes series, and the Spinsterella trilogy on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them at other online booksellers like Smashworth, the iBookstore, Google Play, and Barnes and & Noble. And if you want to check out my first full comic, John Haynes at Death's Door, you can find that comic on Lulu.com right now in paperback and pick it up for the same price that people paid on the 2022 Kickstarter. And if you want to see me be able to make more videos and create more positive black stories, you can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Spinsterella. Discover the dark side of love in this goth and lovely romance with Spinsterella. Get Spinsterella in paperback and e-readers at your favorite online bookseller today. Now available in paperback and e-readers, The Temptation of John Haynes. Give in to temptation and pick up this action-packed African-American paranormal romance. Get The Temptation of John Haynes in paperback and e-readers today. Coming to paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, Illuminati. The man who rules the world takes on the head of the global elite in this action-packed all-new John Haynes series adventure. Pre-order your copy of John Haynes, Illuminati on Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.